Awaken the pain. Deep within the forests of Lordaeron lies the kingdom of Zulamon and its zealous guardians, the forest trolls. During Azeroth's second war, the Amani warlord Zul'jin struck an alliance with the Orcish Horde in order to eliminate the trolls' ancient enemies, the Elves of Quel'Thalas. But their pact would not last. With the Horde's defeat, Zul'jin and his kin returned to the forests. Now, drawn into the Nexus, he still seeks a way to enact his terrible vengeance. Zul'jin is an aggressive ranged assassin whose berserker rage increases his attack speed and damage at the cost of his health. Zul'jin's trait, Berserker, has both a passive and activated effect. Passively, Berserker increases his basic attack speed as his health lowers. When activated, Berserker increases his attack damage but also drains his health as he attacks. Berserker can be toggled on and off at will. Zul'jin's first basic ability, Grievous Throw, hurls his axe forward, dealing damage to the first two enemies it hits, marking them. Marked enemies take increased damage from Zul'jin's next three basic attacks, or until the mark expires. His next ability is Twin Cleave. When cast, Zul'jin throws his two axes in a unique, circular arc that returns back to his position. Any enemies hit by an axe take damage and are slowed. The slowing effect will stack if an enemy is hit by more than one axe. All forest trolls have the gift of regeneration and Zul'jin is no exception. When activated, he channels for a moment and regenerates a significant amount of health. Moving or taking damage will interrupt the effect. Zul'jin's first heroic option, Taz Dingo, provides him some incredible survivability. By channeling the power of the Loa, Zul'jin gains the unkillable status, which prevents him from falling below one health until the effect ends. His second heroic ability, Guillotine, is a deadly tool of destruction. This hefty axe can be thrown a large distance and deals immense damage to enemies in the impact area. Guillotine's damage significantly increases as Zul'jin's health lowers. Zul'jin lives and fights on the axe's edge. Activating Berserker increases his attack speed and damage, but costs a small chunk of his health for each of his basic attacks. At low health, Zul'jin dishes out a ton of damage, but does so at great risk to his survivability. Don't be afraid to pull back and use regeneration to reclaim some much needed health. Both of Zul'jin's heroics play directly into his health pool. At low health, Guillotine's damage increases significantly and a well-placed throw can take down multiple heroes at once. Taz Dingo can be used in conjunction with Berserker, leaving Zul'jin at one hit point for an extended period, maximizing the strength of his attacks. Zul'jin is a strong solo laner and his ability to ramp up his damage can easily bully enemies out of his lane. Use Twin Cleave to chase them down. Hurl his axes forward and watch as your enemies run right into your slowing blades. Leverage heroes that can shield, like Medivh, Kassadar, or Zarya, to make aggressive plays. Try pairing up Zul'jin with Lieutenant Morales and have her keep your health steady as you take full advantage of your Berserker trait to tear your enemies to shreds. You are axed. Zul'jin, warlord of the Amani, is ready to enter the fight whether you want his axe or not. <laughs> Make sure to leave us a comment to let us know what you think, and you can always subscribe to Heroes of the Storm here on YouTube or around the web if you want to keep up to date. We'll see you in the Nexus.